to another new city in Taiwan. Today we are in the city of Jai, which we have never been here before, so we're super excited to explore and see everything it has to offer and take you guys along with us. Let's go! As always, the best way to get around in any city in Taiwan is by using U-Bike. Right, guys we have made it to our first stop of the day which is a prison and we're actually just here to drop Sandy off. No let's do it. It was a prison now it's a museum. Mm -hmm. It's a prison that was built during the Japanese occupational period and we're here to walk around enjoying a guided tour in 30 minutes. First we got to go find some coffee maybe. Mm -hmm. We also noticed that in Jai they have no pedestrian crossings. I mean they have like the lines but there's never any lights anywhere. So you just kind of, uh, you just kind of go for it. You have to use your hands. Does that how it works? inside of the prison and these cells are insanely small. I thought that they were single person cells, but apparently up to three people can be inside of each of these cells. And I don't even think three people could lie down in a cell together. So they gotta like sleep sitting up or something, I guess. It is really cool that they, this is all kept and restored so well, so you can see it. So in this tiny room, I think up to like five people could be staying here. Mm -hmm. You got your toilet, and you have a tiny little privacy screen thing, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then this is just the rest of your space. Mm -hmm. You can see two futons take up this much space, so I don't know how you'd fit five in here, but apparently they had up to five people in this room. I thought the tour was really, really cool. The guide was really informative and he told us so much information about this uh, prison. The only thing is though, the tour guide only speaks uh, Chinese. The entire tour is in Chinese. So if you don't have a translator like I did, it might be a little bit difficult. Anyways, we're all done with the prison. Time to head to our next destination. We have just made it to our next destination, which is the Hinoki Cultural Village. And this actually used to be dormitories for Japanese and Taiwanese workers during Japanese colonization. Uh, it was for the workers that worked in Alishan, the lumberjacks and all that. And now it's just been converted to like a cool cultural village. Lots of food and snacks mm -hmm. and souvenirs you can mm -hmm. get. And the architecture is really cool because it's all traditional Japanese style buildings. So it, it feels like you're in Japan right now, basically. <laughs> It seriously feels like we have just been like transported into Japan because everything is very, very Japanese looking. It's really cool. These buildings are probably some of the most beautiful buildings I've ever seen. snack which is a egg waffle with matcha. Looks so good. That looks glorious. <laughs> This place is so much bigger than I expected. I thought it would be like, you know, a few buildings and that's it. 
it is not an understatement to call this place Kinoki Village because it basically feels like an entire village. Massive. Massive. And there's like tons of green space. The buildings are all insanely beautiful. Everything is so well kept. Really, really cool. Got some egg rolls, coffee flavor, iced coffee flavor. Oh, it's like an egg roll with coffee ice cream inside. That's so good. I think we are pretty much all done with the Hinoki village, and I would say this is a must see place here in Jai. Honestly, if you're ever in Taiwan, you should just come to Jai just for this village. It's so cool. Uh, it's like, it's like being in Japan without being in Japan. That is true. We have just made it to the Alishan parking garage, as it's known, which is kind of like a rail yard that you can just wander around um, and check out all the old trains. And I think there's some that you can actually go inside of. There's one they converted into a washroom, like this one. And so that's kind of hilarious. So you can just go inside of a car, a uh, train car and pee. Or take a dump. Or take a dump. <laughs> As we were walking around the Alishan Railway parking garage, we stumbled into this cool little uh, market. Seems really interesting. They've got a bunch of little snacks and drinks to have, uh, and they're selling some artisan goods. Lots of free samples all around. Pretty great. We are all done with the railway uh, parking garage slash museum. Not really a museum, more of just a parking garage, I guess, with a bunch of old trains. It's pretty cool if you're into trains and there was a market that I assume only runs on the weekends uh, that was really cool to check out as well but now it's time to head back to our hotel and chill for a bit because we are getting pretty tired Later that night After a nice rest at our hotel we are heading back out to get some food and since we are in Jai and it's in Taiwan there's only one thing to do for dinner Heading to the night market You just killed Pikachu. Night markets are such a great way to experience Taiwanese culture because you get to try a bunch of foods without getting too full, which is awesome. We got our next food item here at the night market. We got some fried squid with a lemon pepper seasoning. Oh, really good. Squid in Taiwan is always so delicious. It's like never like Chewy is just delicious. We got our next item, which is takoyaki. Octopus balls. Taiwanese style. And we got the seaweed flavor. Now, the thing with takoyaki is that uh, it's basically molten lava on the inside, so you gotta be really careful when you take your first bite. Oh. <laughs> That's way different than the ones that I've had in Japan. Uh, the consistency is pretty similar, like crispy on the outside, goopy on the inside, but it has way more stuff inside. I think it has, like I said, cabbage, maybe some onions. I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff inside. It's really good though. Can't uh, be in a night market without getting some uh, tea, or in this case, Ayu lemonade. Ayu jelly lemonade. This is such a nicely organized uh, night market because there's no traffic, there's no cars allowed, and there's all these cool flags, and they look so cool. I know. I love this night market. We got Peter's favorite food at the night market, which is the pepper buns, but we saw they have another kind of bun. It's called the cheese and potato bun. It looked really interesting, so I decided to give it a try. Wow, it's huge. Oh. It's almost like mashed potatoes. 
potato with cheese. Mm. It does taste like mashed potato inside of a bun. Right? I feel like it's missing one key ingredient though, which is salt. Not very salty. But otherwise, pretty good. Mm. Very cheesy. Time to take a break from eating to play some games. Let's go. That was a good way to uh, burn some calories. Now we can have dessert. We are finishing our night here with some gelato from this tiny little uh, gelato spot that we just happened to find super close to the Night Market. Night Market. Mm -hmm. Looks really good. We got a bunch of different flavors. I think this is uh, Earl Grey. No, I don't know. Mocha? Either Earl Grey or Mocha. Mmm. That is Earl Grey. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Also got Oreo. Ice cream so good. Great way to end the day. Mm -hmm. Anyways guys, I think we're gonna just finish off our ice cream and end our video here. Mm -hmm. And I think we can safely say that Jai is a must visit city here in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. See you in the next one. Bye!